The scripture says, submit yourselves to one another in fear of God. Wives, love your own husbands as Christ loved the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, and the wife is, even as Christ is head of the body of the church, he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Luke, today I marry you with no hesitation or doubt, and my commitment to you is absolute. I promise to share with you all of life's challenges and all of its victories from this day forward. I promise this knowing that shared sorrow is sorrow halved and shared joy is joy doubled. Because I share your joy, know that as your wife and friend, I will always be looking for ways we can get you more hunting time. <laughs> and will support you in all endeavors God calls you to achieve. <clears throat> I promise that whenever you are weak, I will be what you need when you need it, as you have done for me, so that neither of us will ever fall far. I promise to continuously refine my vows as God molds me to become a better wife. Together, we will build a life far better than either of us could ever have imagined alone. It was no accident Me finding you Someone had a hand in it Long before we ever knew Now I just can't Smiling down on me as I look at you tonight, and I tip my hat to the keeper of the star. He sure knew what he was doing. He joined these two hearts And I hold everything When I hold you in my arms And I've got all I'll ever need Thanks to the keeper of the stars So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies, and he that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet has hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body and of his flesh and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. First of all, Megan, I promise that with our marriage and life, God will always come first. I promise to always stay faithful to you. I will always defend your honor. I promise to be a shoulder you can cry on. I promise to love you through sickness and in health. I will always stay strong, be a provider for you and our future family, even through tough times. I promise to always do my best to make you happy and help our marriage stay as strong as it is now, as strong as it has been and as strong as it always, or as strong as it ever will be. <laughs> I want to be the husband you've always dreamed of. And I promise to love you, Megan, only you, until death do us part. That's good. That's good. 
Luke, your dad and I are both very proud of the person that you've grown to be. You've learned a lot about over the years about making choices. Sometimes you learn the hard way about making the wrong choices. But one of the most important choices that you will ever have to make is choosing the right little lady for a wife. And I think you've made the right choice with Megan. Megan, we're so glad to have you join our family. We're so glad to welcome you. Marriage is a lot of fun and a lot of adventure, but there will also be times that are not fun and they will involve a lot of work and compromise. But the most important thing above all to remember through the fun and adventurous times and the hard and rough times is to keep God's plan first. If you keep His plan first, no matter the situation, it will work for good. Luke and Megan, I wish you a future full of fun and adventures and happiness. While above all, keeping God first in your lives. Love does not consist of gazing at each other, but in looking together in the same direction. A successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. Success in marriage does not come merely through finding the right person, but through being the right person. Also know that when a man holds a woman's hand before marriage, it's in love, and after marriage, it's in self-defense. <laughs> with that in mind, I know that Luke has chosen well, and I believe that Megan has too, and I wish them for a long, happy, and prosperous future together. It is hard to find the right words to express the depths of my feeling. Megan, you're a wonderful sister, and I know you'll make us find a wife. You're looking as beautiful as ever, and it proves the one thing I've always known about Luke. He's clearly a man of vision, occasionally blurred, sometimes lacking the appropriate color definition, <laughs> but clearly a man of vision nonetheless. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please be upstanding and raise your plastic cups Here's to the future for all that you look forward to together. It's Megan and Luke. Luke, do you take Megan to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. <laughs> do you take Luke to be your lawfully wedded husband? You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> By the power of God, I pronounce you husband and wife, and you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs>